All right, so welcome to the 6 p.m. session of the virtual open house about the electrical trade here at Northern Lakes College. What kind of work do electricians do? <clears throat> well, many of us might associate the electrical trade with uh, the electrical in our homes, but the electrical trade is a lot more vast than that. Yes, it is true. We do a lot of electrical work in residential, uh, but we also perform a lot of electrical work in commercial sector, institutional sector, and the industrial sector. Now, the, uh, the industrial sector can also be broken up, uh, not only to, you know, the oil field here in Alberta, uh, the, the lumber industry, uh, but there's actually some emerging technologies where uh, the electric electricians are the at the forefront of the trade. So electricians often earn in excess of a hundred thousand uh, dollars, particularly in the industrial sectors, um, especially here in northern Alberta. Um, we are one of the higher paying trades. But in order to get that salary, you would probably have to work your way through the apprenticeship program. And then the apprenticeship program typically takes around four years uh, of on the job training, as well as four periods of technical training, which we offer here at Northern Lakes College. Technical training typically involves eight weeks of um, in a face-to-face -face training. Uh, much of it is theory-based, but also practical-based assessments are required. Um, an average of 65% uh, marking a uh, mark is required to achieve each period of technical training. At the end of your technical training, there will also be a government exam of which a grade of 70% is required to move on to the next period of technical training. We also offer pre-employment electrical training here at Northern Lakes College. It's a total of a 16-week uh, program. Uh, during that program, you will uh, gain uh, some safety tickets. Uh, the training involves, uh, yeah, it comprises of uh, first aid training, women's training, transportation of dangerous goods, as well as fall arrest training. Uh, there's four weeks of practical project training, and then two weeks of work placement after your eight weeks of technical training. Again, it's similar to first period technical training. Uh, it's theory and practical based, and you'll require a mark of 65%. And first year apprenticeship training credit will only be achieved by passing the government exam again, uh, requiring a grade of 70%. To gain access to, uh, or to get to, uh, sorry, let me say that again, the entrance requirements to the uh, electrical trade uh, there are entrance requirements. You can find this information at tradesecrets.alberta.ca. As you can see on the screen, it's uh, English 20-2, uh, uh, Math 20-3, and Science 10. There are alternative routes to, uh, to getting into the uh, technical training, um, one of those being an entrance exam. So even if you did not achieve the English 20-2 or Math 20-3 or Science 10, there is alternative uh, options. So let me show you tradesecrets.alberta. I will share my screen. So hopefully you can all see that. I'll try and uh, zoom in for you. There you go, that's a little better. That 
So if you go into trade secrets, uh, you can go ahead and look at trades in Alberta. And if you scroll down, you'll see trades profiles and find a trade. You click on that. And you scroll down to electrician. You can find the electrician trade. All the information you need about the electrical trade can be found here. And if you scroll through it, you'll see it will describe everything I've been presenting in this uh, in this PowerPoint. And if you scroll down, you can click on the trades profile that will tell you a bit about the trade. There's Alberta job postings, the entrance requirements, which I just went through. There's an entrance exam study guide. There's the apprenticeship curriculum guide, apprenticeship training catalog, catalog. These are all the classes. You'll, if you click on here, you'll find our Northern Lakes College um, uh, that we offer the trades, all four periods of technical training. And then there's all sorts of information about financial assistance as well. All right. So job information, yes, was on Alberta on that uh, trade secrets website, but are these alternative um, places you can get job information? I'm just going to post this one here. This is Job Bank Canada. This is a government page uh, that will have uh, job postings for the entire country, not just Alberta. Uh, but of course, we know all the regular uh, job seeking web pages, indeed. Um, or you can just go into some local, uh, your local paper. There's often electrical trades jobs posted there. I actually pulled one up the other day. Um, where there is a electrician tradesperson job available for uh, one of the larger oil field companies, Pembina, and that was posted in the, the Slave Lake Leader. So why choose Northern Lakes College for your electrical trade? Well, we have smaller class sizes. Uh, our class sizes are typically kept to a maximum of 12 students, whereas other institutions like to maximize their intakes to 20 to 30 students. Um, so at Northern Lakes College, that means you'll have more one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. Also, we do four-day-a-week classes instead of five. This gives students an optional day to meet with the instructor for private sessions or to catch up on exams at the end of the week. Yes, the days are a little longer but we feel this is offset by the flexibility of the fifth day. Then we have also more individual lab training. Because we have smaller class sizes, you have a greater opportunity to work with equipment individually rather than having to share the equipment all the time. Um, when sharing is happening, it is usually only with one other person, not several other people. So here's a couple of pictures of some of our students, some of the projects they were doing. So is there any questions? I can see that uh, somebody from Kadot Lake has joined. Uh, sorry, you missed the beginning of the session. Is anybody there? Hello. Hi there. There you go. No one just listening. Okay. <laughs> you missed a lot of the information. Sorry, I started uh, a little earlier. No, that's fine. Did you have any questions that you wanted to ask about the electrical trade? No. You're good. Well, electrical trade, you said? Yes. How long? How long um, is the um, program itself? The electrical trade. I only ask because my son is um, working on getting there someday. 
Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I started off here when I was talking about technical training. Um, so the, the trade could work. Uh, typically, it's a four year training. Uh, but the training starts with on the job training. So typically somebody would get a, an apprenticeship at a, an electrical company. And, uh, what that company will typically say, we're going to indenture you, I mean, we're going to take you on as an apprentice and then they will start to work and then come to technical training. And there's four periods of technical training. So minimum four years before you become a qualified electrician. Okay. Now. We do offer a pre-employment training at Northern Lakes College. Uh, it's a 16 week program. And what happens is when you sign up for this program, you'll be registered as an apprentice. You just won't have had the work experience beforehand. But as you can see in the 16 week technical training, we actually offer four weeks of projects that we do electrical projects. So we train the uh, pre-employment student, uh, we give them some electrical experience here at the college. Um, and then they also, at the end of the training, they go for a two week placement at a workplace. They will, they'll find a workplace uh, and go work for the company. Typically it's free of charge. Um, we pay for, um, like, uh, uh, workman's compensation. So that if, if there's any accidents, the, the college covers it. Uh, but typically they'll go work at a company for two weeks just to get some experience. And after that program, they will challenge the government exam and then they'll get credit for their first period of technical training. Now this is, this could work out nicely if, you know, they go for that two week work placement and when they're working there, that company actually, uh, decides to keep that apprentice on, which has happened, uh, several times. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go with the work placement and the company will decide to keep that uh, student on after they finish their training. I hope that helps answer your question. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay.